the 800 meters, two laps of the track, just over 100 seconds of running. Since the inception of track and field, we've seen many 800 meter specialists, but nobody in the history of this event has ever dominated quite like David Rudisha. Throughout the entire history of 800 meter running, he has run the top three fastest times ever. And if we expand this list, he's run six of the top 10 fastest times. But we can go one step further. Out of the top 20 times ever run, he's run 10 of these times. These statistics are pretty striking, because when it comes to these top performances, athletes require an almost perfect race. But for Rudisha, he managed to run these speeds with regularity. This is undeniably very impressive, but what makes David Rudisha the undisputed GOAT of the 800 meters is his unmatched abilities on the world's biggest stages. In 2012, Rudisha ran what is largely considered to be the single greatest 800 meter race of all time. From the start all the way to the finish line, he led a world-class field, and even though the other runners tried their very best to stay with Rudisha, it was not to be, as this Kenyan legend ran a new world record, and he became the first and only athlete to ever run under 1 minute and 41 seconds. This really was one of the most dominant moments in Olympic history, but don't take my word for it, take the word of Sebastian Coe, who said that this one race was probably the most extraordinary piece of running that he had ever seen. Pretty strong words from the man who had held the 800 meter record for over 16 years. Indeed, this 2012 Olympic moment was absolutely unforgettable, but Rudisha's success does not stop there. In 2011 and 2015, he won the World Championship Finals, and for both of these races, he displayed a brutal final 100 meter finish, proving that on top of his incredible strength is amazing finishing speed. These championship moments were all absolutely legendary, but there's one race that solidified his name as the undisputed greatest, and that race is the 2016 Olympic 800 meter final, where he became one of only four athletes in history to successfully defend his 800 meter Olympic gold. Building up to the Rio Olympics, he was clearly slated as the gold medal favorite, but to the surprise of many, he struggled during the early moments of his Olympic season. On May 14th, he placed fifth in the Shanghai Diamond League 800, and just one month later in Stockholm, he placed fourth, losing in a big sprint finish down the home stretch. These two races were certainly unexpected, but the real shock was when he placed third in the Kenyan Olympic trials, just barely squeaking through to make the Olympics. Over these two months, Rudisha's previous favoritism quickly turned into doubt, but even in the face of large uncertainty, he ran one of the greatest races in the history of the Olympics. On August 15th of 2016, Rudisha entered the 800 meter finals at the Rio Olympic Games. As the defending Olympic champion, the pressure was enormous and all eyes were on this one Kenyan athlete. Through the first 200 meters, Rudisha and his fellow compatriot Alfred Kipketer led the field with a very fast time of just over 23 seconds. This was a very fast opening 200, and while Kipketer continued forward at a borderline suicide pace, Rudisha eased off the accelerator and joined the chase pack. Through 400 meters, Kipketer split a time of 49.23 seconds, with Rudisha and the rest of the pack just behind. With just 400 meters to run, Rudisha was positioned well, but he still had to make a move, and with 250 meters to go, he made it, and when he went, there was no catching him. Over these final 200 meters, Rudisha accelerated and he simply could not be caught. With a final 200 of 26.12 seconds, he incredibly defended his Olympic gold medal, and he also ran the fastest 800 meter time since the 2012 Olympics. The amount of pure clutchness in this one moment is insane. Not only did he win the Olympic finals, but he executed one of the greatest 800 meter times in history. Also, his ability to overcome the doubt from his previous few races and still run a race like this is nothing short of amazing. It's one thing to run fast times, but it's completely different to be successful during big moments. And in both of these categories, Rudisha is unquestionably the all-time greatest. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.